Hello friends, I'm Mark Barkel, and today I'd like to talk with you about Minikube and Windows subsystems for Linux. Some of us, some of us use Windows in order to do development, and when we do, we might want to use Kubernetes effectively. To use Kubernetes effectively in development, by and large, Minikube is the way to go. So, first thing you do is you go install Hyper-V. That's a Windows component. I'm sure you can figure that one out. Then, after that, you install the package manage manager, Chocolatey. Not absolutely required, but why wouldn't you? Everything you do on Windows, as much as you can, should be on the command line, right? So, after you install Chocolatey, you can then do a Choco install mini cube. Boom. Now, I've already installed it. So, I just get told, if you really want to do it, you can force install it. I don't want to do it again. Right? So now, what can we do now, right? Hey, let's start up our Minikube. Right? Minikube. Start. Dash dash driver. Equal. Hyper V. Now, I already started mine up. So, it's just going through the motions again. Upgrading it as necessary. Okay? And now, I hear the theme song of Jeopardy in my head. It's almost done. All right, cool. So now what we can do is kubectl exe. I'm using the exe to show you that I'm in PowerShell and using the Windows version of kubectl, also known as kubectl. Not sure which one I'm going to use as I talk with you, because I use them both as the name, for better or for worse, I guess, right? So here are my settings for kubectl to reach into my mini cube. And we can see right here, cube cuddle, get namespaces. Okay. Oh, I still have the bunnies uh, namespace or bunny namespace. I ah, don't really want that. Kubectl delete namespace bunny. All right, cool. So over here on the left, over here on the left, we have Ubuntu running on Windows subsystem for Linux. I happen to already have it set up appropriately for that mini cube over there. But if I didn't, here's what I could do. VI dot cube config okay now I need to edit the certificate authority to be the Linux path into the Windows path that Minikube set up adding in MNT changing over that C colon drive and changing all the directory separators into Linux path directory separators. Okay? Basically. And then also in addition to that, I need to change the server. Cool. Now, at this point, kubectl get pods all namespaces. We can now see a bunch of stuff running in the minikube that's being run by Windows Hyper-V. Cool. Now, 
Next thing's next. Let's install something to it, right? Let's install RabbitMQ. You know, it queues and DQs and in queues and DQs and queues and queues and queues and DQs and DQs and DQs, right? Uh, but, hey, let's install something. So right now you can see that I'm in a path called charts. And you can see that I cloned this repository from github.com, helm, charts.get. Charts.get is a wonderful repository for you to get helm templates that can run a variety of open source software for you. Okay, cool. So let's, let's run helm. So helm template and we are now going to prefix everything with the word bunnies and we're going to put it into the namespace bunnies and then we are going to say let's use the stable version of rabbit mq high availability right cool and we're going to do a backslash we're going to do forward slash because I, I i like doing forward slashes and boom Lots of things go through, okay? But really, we don't want it to go to standard out because our configuration out to standard out doesn't allow us to like look at it at all, right? So let's redirect it to our home directory and say bunnies.yaml. Okay, now let's vi bunnies.yaml. And you can see some random ge randomly generated passwords and management password and various configuration and base 64 and we can see lots of stuff as I go all the way down yay now I didn't make the namespace bunnies yet so let's make that namespace right now so we're going to do a clear and we're going to do a cube ctl create namespace bunnies cool we just made bunnies namespace now we can actually put something into bunnies namespace let's put bunnies into the namespace Cool. Cube CTL apply dash F bunnies dot yaml. Cool. All right. Now, at this point, we have an error. I didn't set up Prometheus well. I don't really care right now. I'm a bad boy on my mini cube. All right. So, I'm not going to monitor very well on this old Windows Pro laptop. Cool. Alrighty now. <clears throat> Let's look at what's getting deployed so far. kubectl get pods namespace bodies boom. And we have two of our three stateful sets up already. Boom. And over here, in PowerShell, ooh, boom, cube, CTL, get pods, bunnies. All right, so now you can get work done. Have a great day. Talk to you some other time. Bye-bye.